Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome back to Music Muse rated five stars on Spotify by Breakins himself. That's actually not true, but like maybe it will be one day. Who knows? Um, guys, go ahead and smack subscribe down below to stay up to date on all the best underground artists in the community and some of your favorites. Today, we are here with Toast. Um, some would call them, you know, an underground hyper pop fucking type of music and uh this is kind of a crap intro but like we're just ready to hop right into it so what's going on oh yeah bro doing good um super pumped to be here and to chat yeah of course i'm glad we could get it done yeah bro of course thanks for finding me too <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I honestly haven't heard of the podcast and then you hit me up, I checked it out, and I saw some some sick stuff to you. I saw um, you chatted with some other, like, really cool artists, so, uh, yeah, that's sick. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's what we do here. So, to start us off today, what are you doing with your music, and why? Yeah, um, right now, just kind of just putting out stuff for fun. Um, I'm a huge fan of just doing things kind of like in almost i guess eras of like my life so a lot of the stuff from like the past toast singles and like album and whatnot was like such a huge uh i guess transition of stuff that i was going through and whatnot um, which is like really fun yeah um but with the new yes. stuff um really trying to push like growing up and like kind of making it into like a whole like series almost of like songs and wow. almost like a whole another world that's like separate from like the old stuff so yeah. yeah that's actually really sick and i'm super interested to see what you have coming obviously because what you have out now is like it really blew my mind when i first heard the album so like i'm just i'm really excited to follow your career as it grows yeah dude yeah i wanted to i wanted to feel like you know, obviously, like, I'm not going to stay the same age and the same mindset as I did, you know, a few plus years ago when I started doing Toast. So as, like, the music gets older or gets, like, progresses, I want to make it feel like, you know, we're all growing up together and, like, maturing, whatever, in a way. So I'm super excited, dude. Yeah, for sure. All right. As an artist who can be thrown under the hyper pop umbrella, what does this term mean to you? Oh my god. Um, you know, honestly, it's so funny because I feel like it's been thrown a couple times, uh, or at least like I've been put under the umbrella of like what people would call hyper pop. And the funny thing is, is like, I don't like, I mean, I'll listen to it a little bit um, just because like we like to get inspo from like lots of cool, like, you know, new stuff that's happening. There's a lot of cool artists out there doing like this hyper pop you know sound and stuff that you know we're digging but honestly like straight up i don't listen to a lot of like hyper pop or i don't like i'm not in the wave of like yeah. hyper pop and stuff i mean i know like i i love underscores they're really cool yeah um, underscores is crazy yeah they're absolutely like mad scientists with their music it's insane but like <laughs> Other than that, like, unless, like, it's, like, the big faces, like, like, Glaive and Eric, it's, like, I don't know much about, you know, um, Hyper Pop, what's going on, but I think it's really cool, because it's, it's kind of speaking to definitely, like, a younger audience, mm -hmm. and definitely speaking to the people that are, like, I guess, more or less in their bedrooms, playing around, to like, like, since, and almost, like, you know, the coming of age of like the early, like when I was in middle school and high school of like the EDM house stuff. And now it's like this fusion of punk rock and, and I don't even know what the hell it is anymore. Exactly. But it's, what yeah, can you it's, describe it as? It's just so Yeah, hard. I literally don't know. Like I honestly don't know. And I don't know what classifies it as hyper pop and what's not, because when I make this stuff, it's like, I'm not making it thinking like, oh yeah, this is hyper pop. But when I do make something and I put it out and someone's like, oh, this is a cool hyper pop track. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I didn't even think of like doing that. So, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Just, I think, I yeah, think... it's, there's just so many things that throw it under the umbrella that are just, I don't know, included in, I guess, the other tracks that are categorized as the same thing. It's just such a hard thing to say, like, 
what it is and what it isn't it's like yeah i don't know yeah no for sure i have and i have total respect and love for like the like hyper pop artists that are going in and like doing it and trying to do like that thing as like you know their principal sound or whatever yeah um but like any other genre i think it's like you get you pull aspects and you pull like certain hairs from like these like i don't want to say bubbles but like these like worlds of like sonic sounds of like you know different kinds of whatever and then you know you end up with like what you end up and i you know i've, I've had people put my stuff under like so many different kinds of umbrellas not to like to the horn or anything but it's just we we're constantly getting inspired by like everything you know so it's yeah. it's it's an honor i guess <laughs> of course yeah so with the album you experienced a little bit of a blow up so what has been like your reaction to gaining a bit more listenership and uh what are some of the things you can do now that you weren't able to necessarily do before you had like you know mm -hmm. the numbers you have now um it's it's been a blessing bro it's it's wild and it's it's super fun um like my favorite thing ever is like just getting hit up by like other artists and other like just people that are like hey like i i you know like casually it's like you get hit up and it's people want something or they're asking for like whatever whatever but my favorite messages are like the people that are like hey like i just found your shit on like this playlist or whatever like keep it up i can't wait to see what's next I, I love stuff like that so seeing more of it, it's like i'm a very like words of affirmation guy so like my love language yeah. is like when i when i eat that shit i'm like oh man i'm writing like five songs tonight <laughs> you know <laughs> um so it's it's been super like encouraging and humbling for sure and um I, I, you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to keep it real and I want to keep it grounded and I wanted to keep it me. I don't want it to ever like change how I make music or how I approach it. Um, I feel like I can get a little unhealthy there, but um, I definitely want to, you know, I want, I want to be me uh, at the end of the day. So I, I feel like it hasn't changed um, personally me much, but definitely like the attitude going forward. It's like, well, now I can, you know, I have a lot, you know, more like ground to step into when I drop a new song or I, you know, I announce something, you know, maybe there's people that's like out there that's actually listening now and pre-saving, whatever, whatever. Um, you know, maybe like the ideas of like making a website or starting like a discord, you know, whatever, whatever, um, yeah. kind of starts floating in and I'm like, uh these are possibilities now that i couldn't have you know a year ago or so so it's exciting still brainstorming but you know we'll see yeah. what happens definitely it's just it's really an exciting time for your career because you're at that point where it's like man i have enough to like have my own little community and it's like it's, it's mm -hmm. super sick yeah yeah dude for sure yeah definitely this year like just i i, I love um i just started like getting on discord and like like getting on other artists stuff and like it's like just a little like a library of people that are like yo we love this shit and like this we're eating it up and this is really really cool and we're here you know to stay and stuff so mm -hmm. I, th I think it's cool it's like a little family so maybe <laughs> yeah. something like that or like some sort of like newsletters or stuff you know definitely like the middle or later of this year start doing so super excited all right max you can take this next one Alrighty, so uh, what is your biggest goal this year as an artist? Um, it's funny to say, but <laughs> my biggest goal is to like finally do my first show. Um, I've never to this day played anything live for Toast. Um, it was it was it was funny because I feel like the start of you know putting out music or whatnot. Uh, we started entering it in like late 2019, but it was like 2020 when we were like, you know what, I'm doing music, you know, whatever. Yeah, when you, you kind of locked in, right? Yeah, I was like, oh, 2020 is my year. I'm putting on music, I'm playing shows, I'm opening for people, whatever, whatever. And it was kind of like the worst year to like do it just because everything was shut down that year and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> it, it, was, it was wild because people were eating times. me up. Yeah, people were hitting me up and like, you know, the only thing I could do at that time was uh, release songs. So it definitely like pulling some strings and finding creative ways to like, you know, maybe do something on YouTube or like 
you know, do like a live concert where you pay for just coming up with like random stuff. So now <laughs> I'm at a point where I'm like, I feel like I have enough under my belt to like finally put on like my first show. So hopefully like the end of this year, my goal is to like put on like a cat show and like just have fun and you know i want to like really translate the songs live and have a really fun time doing it so yeah and uh you know for your shows to you know get prepped and everything do you think you're gonna like practice to you know something like in your room oh like fucking, like some pillows in a room just to like you know get the environment going or are you gonna go straight in for it yeah no i definitely have to practice like I want it to be definitely like natural, so like I don't want to like prepare every single word or like well, every obviously yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like I already bought like stuff for like my like my microphone, like effects and like everything. So I oh, have like cool. stuff. Um and then definitely just like practice because it's the one thing to like record vocals here in like my bedroom, like, oh that was a really bad take. Let me redo it. Like live, I can't do that. <laughs> so yeah. like I just need to like practice like how to sing and play guitar at the same time while also being energetic while also entertaining people. And <laughs> it's, it's whatever, so whatever. Much. It's like a huge yeah. puzzle. It's I don't know how some people do it sometimes, but no, yeah, oh, it's man. you know I've, I've watched, yeah, I've seen so many you know concerts and stuff, and it's so easy to see and be like, oh yeah, I think that looks easy, whatever, and then like actually like standing up and doing i'm like oh my god i'm exhausted like this is hard <laughs> so yeah yeah so coming down to our last two here what is a funny story or experience you have from any point in your life about anything just 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 something to tell anything anything at all it doesn't have to be music okay. related max okay. always says the token story you tell a new group of people or something like that I will share okay something from high school that happened to it. It was to a friend of mine, but I was there and I played a huge part in it. it was um, we used to go like skating and like longboarding um, behind like my best friend's house. He had like a huge long road mm -hmm. um, and whatnot. We used to go like on the road on the street. They, uh, there was like a uh what is it called like a water park pool area but they hadn't like put the water in so it was perfect for like just running around like skating and stuff so we do that and one night um we're like all right let's drive you know back home um and my friend was like yeah i get in the car and drive but i'm gonna hold on to the car outside with like my skateboard you know and we're like oh hell yeah you know <laughs> and we're having like the time of our lives it's like so much fun and um we're hitting like 20 25 and he's like he's like hit 30 hit 35 and we're like all right you know we're doing it and <laughs> if you guys know anything about like skating and stuff you start getting like wobbly feet and yeah. at yeah, that yeah. point there's nothing you can do to prepare you for like what's about to happen next no you just and you crap yourself and you hope for the best yeah. oh yeah you you tuck and you just you you yep. eat it you know you eat everything that's about to like head towards you and yeah. i saw i saw the i saw the board i saw his face just sink oh. and we thought he's dead like this is we just killed someone you know for sure and um <laughs> He, he let go, and uh, you guys know like a ragdoll is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ragdoll? You throw that? Yeah, just arms and legs are flying oh, everywhere. No. <laughs> and, um, oh, And the, we're, it's like a group of us in the car, too, and we stop, like, we hit the brakes. Yeah. And we're, we're all just like, oh, my God. And then one of our friends, I'll never forget, just, like, looked at him and was like, He's good, right? And we're like, no, bro. <laughs> that man just died. That man just saw a god. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, to this day, like, it was the scariest but funniest thing, like, in my life to oh ever have. Oh, my God. <laughs> insane. Yeah. He, he yeah. ended up getting, like, staples in his head. And, oh, you know, God. Yeah. He, I mean, he's still, like, he's killing it today. Um, Still, so, uh, he's, like, one of my best friends. So, oh, man. Uh, yeah, anywhere I go, like I, I like to tell that story. I'm like, yeah, you know. What about that guy? guy? So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, 
man that's nuts that is crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's wild is like we were only like 15 16 so it's like Jeez. i don't even think we had our freaking license to do that like uh, to drive the car <laughs> and stuff and oh my god it's like the fact that we're like oh we got to call our parents and stuff like that just blows my mind like we were that like naive and young and stuff so. like just concerned about the guy yeah like we see him just <laughs> flat out on the floor like, fucking eat shit yeah we're like he's good right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. um yeah and then like we pull him up to the side of the road and then one of the girls that was like with us, her mom was like a nurse, so we call her immediately, and she's like, "You had to wrap his head in like, like, like in a shirt or something." And you know, obviously, she meant like one of our shirts because like he's like you know not okay. So I'm like, okay, okay, give me a sec, and I start pull, I start peeling his shirt off of like his bloody like body, <laughs> like an oh idiot. God. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Oh my god! No, no, you did not. Yeah, so we My man could have had like a like, spinal injury and you just ripped the shirt yeah. off. <laughs> we pulled up to the hospital with a half naked no. guy with a Coca Cola shirt around his head and Oh my he, god. Yeah, it was it was a mess, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But yeah. Good times. But yeah, good times. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. Coming down to our last question after that story, I don't know what's going to top this, but uh, <laughs> what is the message of uh, inspiration or advice you have for our listeners today? Um, You know, whether I feel like, you know, musically inclined or not, um, I feel like, you know, the biggest and honestly the most, like, attractive, you know, thing people can, like, do to, like, just you know, do whatever they do is just be themselves and like, just, uh, you know, the, the key of confidence is like, honestly, so underrated and can bring you like to so many places that you don't even know. Um, I just met with a guy that, you know, a month ago, I flew out to LA and he had just moved to the United States, not knowing anyone. And a year later, he's managing like three, like small artists just worked with like, um just like uh ag club knows like no super, way yeah like really he knows, yeah he knows super like uh big artists like benny and you know marinelli and like all these like really really <laughs> sick artists and literally his thing was like i was like bro like how do you know these people and he's like bro in one year i just like hit people up and i just was like super confident i was like bro like let me like let's hang, let's do this, like, let me show you who I am and what I can do, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, that's so wild, because, you know, like, I'm over here, like, beating myself to death to, like, make the coolest song ever, or, like, make, like, the biggest, you know, whatever, whatever. But, like, honestly, like, just hitting people up and, like, being you and, like, carrying, like, such confidence in yourself is, like, such a key, like, thing yeah. to, like do whatever you need to do and it's not even music you know like anything you do and i i feel like a lot of times you know people are like what's something you can say like younger artists and you know whatever whatever i'm like honestly not even speaking to artists just secluding everyone else in the world that like likes to listen to toast but it's like just be you and like i don't i, don't, I feel like you know especially with the new toast stuff that like, i want to put out like i want it to be transparent i want it to be like where people can listen to him like oh that's that's marcus i know this guy that's singing i know the guy i know these words that he's saying and stuff like that so just being real and like carrying confidence with you and yeah i don't know i feel like it's super underrated but it can it can take you places for sure yeah 100 percent. especially yeah. if you can go from like knowing nobody not to knowing, knowing everybody in like yeah one dude. year just by saying like just by being confident in who you are and what you're gonna do like, it's what's just up? like it's incredible yeah dude it's it's wild it's you know people don't you know realize it but it's 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 key for sure and uh any advice for the uh men out there who are looking for girlfriends girls find confidence extremely attractive so just you honestly like i was at work today and you know we're like talking about like just random shit and we're like 
you know, I was like, you know, I might cut my hair, I might get like a mullet or like just something wild and stupid. And then like, people were like, yeah, like, you know, it's just, it's just a weird haircut or whatever. I'm like, no. yeah, but like, you're not gonna look at, you know, a guy that walks in, and, you know, he rocks it and he owns the shit that like, what he has and stuff. And you're not gonna yeah. be like, oh, that's a weird. No, you're gonna be like, oh, that guy's cool, you know? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Right? I'm like, yeah, exactly. oh, what's the, what kind of stupid haircut does this guy have? You're gonna look at him and you're gonna go, damn, that dude exactly. owns shit. Yeah, own your shit, bro. That's it, own your shit. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> yeah. But that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming on. It's I'm such a huge fan. Like uh like a few months back, I had Sour Patch Kids on repeat like every single day for like I, I can't remember how long, but I love that song so much. Yeah, so. dude. It's, yeah, it's one of my favorites. So it's super awesome to hear that, bro. Thanks so much for listening. Of course, yeah. And just again, thanks for coming on. We can totally run this again whenever you're down. Whenever you got a project you need to promote it, we're here. Dude, Absolutely. I will keep that in mind. Literally hit me up whenever. I'm I'm, a, I'm an open book, for real. I will try not to forget next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Don't worry. All right, oh, Max. Man. You can run this outro today. I'm, I'm gonna All right, you. guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening to today's podcast. Uh, please go like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. Um, rate us five stars on Spotify, Apple Music. And um, really quickly, Toast, do you want to plug your socials? Yes, uh, Instagram, Toast underscore, Twitter, Toast T Music. I don't use my TikTok as much, but go ahead and follow it. I don't even know the handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> all right, sick. All well, thank you very much guys. for coming on today. Yeah, link's in the description. Go check them out. Thanks, guys. All right, and me and Max will see you in the next episode. Peace, guys. Bye, guys.